in the kitchen cooking with Thunder Bay. When the cooler temperatures of fall arrive, we tend to turn to comfort foods that may not be as healthy, right? That's right, but Chef Mike Stigler is here with a dish that's lighter yet reflects the changes of the seasons. Welcome back, Mike. Good morning. What Thanks up, for having Mike? me. Yeah. It smells delicious. Yeah, yeah we're getting there. It smells a little smoky, a little... A little bit. A little like fall. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, and that's what I was referring to when I said it's a little bit lighter, but still yeah. reflects some of the changes of the season because it's a flaky white fish, which everybody loves, um, but it also has um, some crispy sweet potatoes on there yeah. and a little bit of a barbecue sear going on so there's some different things going on there as well. Mm. Want to talk about the um, that in just a second but how long do you nap? Do you, do you nap? <laughs> nap? No. Oh, I don't, how I don't do you nap, do you nap at, at, at Thunder work? Bay? At work? Yeah. No, I don't have enough time to get done everything I need to get done much less sneak in a snooze too. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, can bar I barely sleep at night much less during the day. You don't go sit in your car for 25 minutes? Oh, goodness Close no. your eyes? No, exactly. No. I wish. Mm -hmm. I wish. Alright let's get to the dish. You so, want to do that? Snapper. Yeah let's talk snapper. about snapper for a minute here. So I wouldn't this, usually that's buy beautiful. snapper. Well, you should start. Really? It's a delicious fish. If you like um, orange roughy, if yeah. you like uh, grouper, if you like you know even tilapia, that style of fish, okay. you would love um, snapper. I love a fillet. I didn't realize red snapper was so thin, but I love a really thin fish yeah. fillet because I feel like you don't cook it that long, but it just whatever mm. seasonings you're using really cook through. It's not just like a chunk of fish. Definitely, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can get away with cooking it a lot faster that way, so you don't mm -hmm. have to do stuff ahead. And like mm -hmm. you said, it really takes a marinade really well if you're going to go that route. Okay. So this snapper is actually called a lane snapper, L-A-N-E, lane snapper. Oh, I thought um, he said lame. I thought he said Elaine no, and named it. it's the opposite of lame. <laughs> it's, it's lane. <laughs> Scarlet snapper. What's the real name again? You can, you can see that it's it's uh, red across here. Scarlet snapper. And part of the reason that it gets this color is because they live in shallow waters in the Gulf of Mexico, and they eat a lot of crustaceans, shrimp, hmm. things of that oh. nature. Help to give them a little bit of that color to their skin. Um, these so are all. You are what you eat. Yes, quite literally. <laughs> Although right? this does not taste anything <laughs> like a... You never laugh at my jokes. Like this is a good crustacean. one, Molly Faye. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is we're going to take this skin off of here and fillet it. And I'm going to show you real quick how we do that. If you were to buy this in the store, you could do the same thing real easy. You're going to put it on your cutting board, and you're going to stretch it out kind of taut like that. And you're going to pat it real nervous. nice, nice fish. And you're going to get this skin so it's all down flat like that. So your okay. skin oh. is laying flat underneath it. So yeah, go ahead and move that. Get some of the stuff out of the way there. No, those That's are good. Um, just so then you're going to want to grab hold of the tailpiece. You have a knife nice. like this one right here, which is a Whoa. boning knife, actually, um, which I also use like a fillet knife. Um, so oh, we're going to yeah. get this. Let me just pull that out of my drawer. Well, you might need to get yourself one okay. of these because they're very convenient. Oh, I'm going to step away. Oh, come on. I'm a professional here. It's like here. a pirate sword. You think he got on here. <laughs> so we're going to take our, our fingers and we're going to hold down this tailpiece of the fish right here. And that's going to give us a little bit of a leverage on there. We're going to go right down in until we get about even with where the skin is. And then we're going to pull the skin taut. And then we're going to just let the knife do the work. You have a nice sharp knife. You keep oh, it nice and yeah. parallel with where the skin is right there. Huh. And you're going to run this right across. I feel and like then you're you making stop. this look really easy. And it is really easy. I and then you pull this taut so again too. like this. And you run this knife right across. Once again, letting the knife do the work. Oh, you lost uh, a check, uh, fish bit. I wanted to. That was no okay. good. I'm going to put fish that piece bit. over there. <laughs> then you flip it over. And you have the skin removed perfectly from the fillet. And then you have a skinless fillet to use. Huh. Well, so you ounce. never want to cook that. You don't want to eat the skin. Yeah, some over. people do. Um, some people do cook that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because what you can do is you can either eat that um, when it gets nice and crisp. Or if you cook it with it on, you can peel the skin off once it once the heat kind of helps it to separate. But okay. sometimes that skin will also make it kind of curl up a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, so just for the sake of making it easier for our guests to eat, we go ahead and remove the skin. How many ounces do you think that is what you have left here? This is probably about, let me, it's about six ounces or so, okay. seven okay. ounces, something like that. It's which a is a nice serving size. Yeah, it is a decent size serving size. So from there, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of this achiote oil. Now, oh, achiote is oil is made from uh, annatto seeds. <laughs> Um, so these give it a nice orange color like that. We're going to rub it down really nice. What you do with the achiote is you take the annatto seeds and you boil them in the oil. Um, and then you turn off the, the boiling. You let it kind of sit and stew and then you drain them out. And is you it left spicy? With this. It sounds like no, it'd be no, spicy. No, it's not spicy at all. It's got kind of an earthy type of a flavor to it. Then we have a barbecue rub here. So this has um, brown sugar. It has paprika. Um, it has a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder. We're going to put that on there. That's why the dish is called barbecue snapper, even though it's, you know, it's like it's got sweet baby rays or, you know, cattlemen's mm -hmm. or something on there. I mean, this is a different kind of thing. I sweet baby rays in my fridge. Yeah, well, so do I. That's my kid's it's favorite. The, the sauce is the boss, right? So good. <laughs> right, but we're not doing that. So. so once you get this all on here really nice, you're going to put that seasoning all on there, and then we're going to move it over to our pan. 
Okay. So in the pan, we're going to put a little bit of olive oil directly into our pan. And you want to have your pan pretty good and hot because what you're trying to do here is you're trying to get a little bit of color on that fish. So from there, we're going to get it right into our hot pan. And you can see that that's going to sizzle up real nicely. Um, and we got this other one that I started a little bit earlier. And you can see the nice color that that's got developing across there because of the... Um, the barbecue seasoning that's on there. So that's that brown sugar kind of caramelizing up. Mm -hmm. And that's the uh, anato oil, uh, the achiote oil. So this is almost done. I'm going to give this another minute to cook here. So will it get a little sweet since you said it kind of caramelizes? Just a little bit, yeah. It'll get a little bit sweet from that sugar and then also from the caramelization process. But what we're going to put on there in a second is going to kind of help to counter some of that sweetness a little bit. Good, because we're so. running out of time. So. Are we really? Yeah. Okay. Well, all right, let's get it on the snap, plate then. Snap, snap. Get it? Snap, Snapper? snap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this snapper over here onto the plate like so. And then on top of that, we're going to put a little bit of citrus cream. So this Ooh, is made wow. from sour cream, uh, lemon, lime, a little bit of orange Whoa. in there. We're going to put some sweet potato crispies on there, which Holy are sweet smokes. potatoes that are done up on the Naughty. side of a box grater and then hit in the deep fryer. And then we're going to put a little bit of green onion on there as well, like so. And in the restaurant, we would traditionally serve this up with roasted vegetables and potatoes. And that is the barbecue seared That looks delicious. Snapper. That almost looks like candy. Yeah. It looks so good. Seriously, <laughs> as a fish, time, that right? is awesome. Try it? It's on the menu right now? Yeah, yeah, it is okay. on the dinner menu at Thunder Bay. Red snapper. It's That's on the dinner menu stuff. right now if you want to do something a little healthier, but still something that tastes awesome, like comfort food. Real quickly, because we're putting up the phone number for people to make reservations. Reservations. It's 262-523-4244. Mm. They're off of exit 294 yep. um, on I-94. Um, people can already make reservations for Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving's right around the corner, and uh, it's traditionally one of our busiest days. Uh, we're going to be serving the Thanksgiving Day buffet from 10 to 4, all the traditional Thanksgiving stuff. We're also doing takeaway that day, so if you want to order your stuff ahead, you can pick it up, take it home, and pretend that you made it, and we won't tell. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you need to get your reservations in soon for that, definitely. Awesome. From someone who doesn't like anything, fishy that's amazing there's it's not fishy it's phenomenal great thank so you get it. appreciate it yeah. thank you so much